Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're digging what we're doing, uh, if you had a good 2020, made a little bit of money, had a little fun, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us the thumbs up, give us that uh, acknowledgement that we so crave, give everybody an opportunity to do it here right up front before I forget about it. Everybody get your mouse pad poised over that thumb at the count of three. Here we go. Three. Two, one, click it, smash that thumb. Oh man, that's the best. That's the best you guys have done all year. Well done, each and every one of you. Uh, of course, if you haven't done so already, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that bell, get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. Uh, not just my daily picks. My buddy Scott Reichel, he does a daily pick, and of course, we do our show each and every day called Today in Sports Betting. And as a bonus. It's bowl season. I do a standalone video on each and every bowl game with one of my favorite plays from that game. So currently, uh, uh, we're doing we're doing pretty well on the standalone videos. We're eleven and six on our standalone bowl videos. We're uh, eleven and four put together between our premium picks and our play of the day on the bowl games. That takes us to twenty two and ten on the bowl season so far. Sixty eight point eight percent. I'll take it each and every each and every year. That'll be uh, that'll be just fine. So. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in more of my picks, I do have premium service available. We'll put the link in the description of the video. Last but not least, don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com for uh, deeper dives into every game going on in America every single day. It is an invaluable resource. And of course, guys, we want to know what you're playing, man. Hey, this is all about you guys. I want to know what you're on today. Put it in the comment section. Whatever play it is, you got football, you got basketball, you got soccer, whatever it is, throw it in there. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, you. Could be the capper of the day. All right. So, taking a quick look at yesterday's action, we did have the uh, Mississippi State uh, Tulsa over. Awful weather. I know some of you certainly had your doubts probably about midway through the third quarter, but uh, they were able to slog it through, get us up and over that total. So, that was a, uh, a fine victory right there, and we're hoping to repeat it again today. All right. Guys, taking a look in the Rose Bowl. It's the granddaddy of them all being played, of course, in Arlington, Texas. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's the Yellow Rose Bowl of Texas. That's right. Stop it. He's got a million of them. Notre Dame, Alabama. All right, guys, this is going to be short and sweet. Alabama, first half, minus 11. You ready? It's not my New, Re New Year's resolution or everything. I'll be back to babbling tomorrow, but this one's going to be short. Alabama's the best, the best first half team in the country. They scored 29.6 points per game in the first half, and they outscore their opponents by 19.4 points per game in the first half. That is also the best mark in the country. You know what? Notre Dame may be firing on all eight cylinders, but this tied offense is a Bugatti Sendodici, and it's firing on all 12 cylinders. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Get yourself down on the Alabama first half, minus 11 at the end of this one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets. And head back to the window. All right, a lot of you guys had real good days yesterday. Let's uh, let's review and uh, and check it out, shall we? Uh, first of all, I want to give a retroactive retroactive shout out to Ninja Thirteen. He went three and zero uh, day before yesterday, going plus three hundred. Sorry, I missed you, brother. Congratulations. That's a fine day right there. Uh, the old T Train man. You think I'm doing well? He is smoking, ladies and gentlemen. Went two and zero today, plus two hundred, takes him to seventeen. One and two. By the way, those are all documented in the comment section. That ain't any uh, retro capping, post, past posting, anything like that. That is absolutely 100% no bullshit plays that were shared right there in the comment section. Carrot, you, you picked a good day to stop sniffing glue, buddy. You picked a good time to start following your fellow cappers. I know Carrot's been making, a money, making some money off you cats, especially the old T-Train. Uh, Eric Catherine went three and one today. Uh, plus 190. His only loss, I got to say it, Eric. I'm sorry, buddy. He faded my play of the day. Oh, oh, oh. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Uh, Steven Martinez went 3-2, and two, plus 80. Uh, Carrot. Hey, Carrot had a fine day going 4-1, plus 290. Logan Snyder went 1-0, oh, plus 100. Billy McGoldrick, he went 2-2. Two and two, went, He got juiced. 5-10 fishing went 1-0, oh, plus 100. JL, 1-0, plus 100. Hit a little two-team taser. Nice job, JL. The astute aardvark, Fade Scott Day. Well, his fades didn't work out too well. One-on-one on the fades. Yeah, cause you, not bad, because you took an army. 
Uh, three and two overall, plus 80. Fine day for the carrot. Crane game. He stays hot going four and one, plus 290. Um, carrot, one of the carrots of music guy, man. He's a, a man after my own heart. Uh, today he was bitching about the middle of the Thunderclap Newman song. To me, it sounds like Paul McCartney uh, doing acid and pounding away on the piano like for the White Album. It should have been a song right after uh, Revolution Number 9. So, anyway, yeah, I agree. That's ridiculous, that piano shit in the middle. Uh, and then I wanted to talk about the uh, the bet online bet because this was uh, a problem for a few of you. Patrick Dunlap pointed it out, and then a couple guys later said that they did not get paid. I did not get paid either. Um, I got a notification that the the bet had been canceled. It was a bad line. Here's the thing. Um, I didn't get a notification until after I, after I sent and asked him. I did not get any kind of an email. I did not get any kind of a notification. And I believe, couldn't swear to it because I, you know, I make my bets and I, go, I move on to other shit, usually looking at tomorrow's action. Um, I believe that bet did not get canceled until after the game started. So that was, uh, that's some shady shit right there. Um, you know, Dave Mason, like I said, is a friend of the show. We've had him on a couple times on Scott and I's show from Bet Online. So um, I have, I'm going to reach out to him and see what's up. I know he's real busy right now this time of year, but uh, he's usually pretty good about responding. So I'd like to find out what the deal is because that was a, uh, you know, I know some people have had trouble with bet online. I've never had a problem. I've never had trouble getting paid. I've never had trouble getting payout. Uh, but that's some uh, that's some not good stuff right there. So yeah, we we're going to find out about that because that was a, you know, with those parlay boosters, you know, you're you're getting a good price, but you never know what's too good of a price. Obviously, it wasn't true odds. It was a tremendous value, but you know, a lot of those parlay boosters are tremendous value. That you're limited. It's kind of a come on bet. It's kind of a loss leader to get you to make more plays. So anyway, that's what I wanted to address that. Uh, I'm never going to, I'm never going to throw you guys towards shady bets or shit. That's not going to get paid. That's, uh, that makes me look bad. And obviously I didn't get paid either. So, um, yeah, not cool. So anyway, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, two cappers of the day again today. I believe it was, was it the same two yesterday? Uh, carrot and, uh, crane game, both going four and one. I know carrot went plus two ninety today cause he actually played some, uh, played a couple uh, football and basketball stuff. So, uh, I'm going to call you guys the co-cappers of the day. Once again, Crane Game and the Carrot, 4 and one plus 290. Gentlemen, you, once again, are the cappers of the day. Congratulations. Once again, Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope everybody has a safe and productive and uh, wealth-building 2021. All right? I, for one, so not sad at all to see 2020 go. It was, a, it was a profitable year for handicapping, decent business-wise, but... From everything else, you can pretty much suck my dick. All right? That's it. That's my words. You guys have a good one. Take care. And uh, you know what? We'll just see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.